Hey everybody, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and once again we find ourselves in Cedar Hill Cemetery in Hartford, Connecticut. Now, have you ever asked yourself, you go to a fancy steakhouse like Sparks in, in Manhattan, and you tell the chef you want a New York strip, well done, and give me a bottle of A1 sauce to drown it? Yeah, neither do I. We would never do that. But let's say you did want to do that. You owe it to this man here, Gilbert Hublin. Now, contrary to popular belief, Gilbert Hublin did not invent A1 sauce. He actually, he was a restauranteur, a marketeer, a fine liquors, importer of food and food items from around the world. He was very well, uh, he had a great taste. And he built this company, the Hublin Company, uh, um, up since his infancy. And he built it all the way up to the day he died. And one of the things he did was he imported A1 sauce and he got it put into every hotel and restaurant in America. In addition, what he should be more famously known for is he invented the pre-made cocktail. Primarily martinis, Manhattans, and uh, this came about because at his restaurant, he threw this huge party, but nobody was drinking for some reason. He ended up with a whole lot of extra uh, uh, martinis, pre-made martinis. So his staff said, what do you want to do? Should we throw this out? And he went and tasted it, and it still was fresh, even a day after the party. So he decided to put it in cans and market it. And this was considered a fine beverage, and it just exploded. Unfortunately, Prohibition came in, and contrary to belief, again, he did not destroy the company. It didn't get wiped out. He didn't drive it into the ground. Actually, his marketing knowledge of the non-liquor items saved the company through Prohibition. When he passed away, he handed the reins to the company to his son, John Martin, grandson, excuse me. And John Martin had the same great taste. He imported vodka, uh, Smirnoff vodka from Russia. It was the first vodka to hit America. Now the funny thing is, back then people only drank two things, primarily whiskey and beer. So we had to figure out how do I market this vodka. And so it was like the white whiskey, or it's whiskey but without the aftertaste. Anyway, vodka caught on. John Martin also went and got rum from Puerto Rico and all different types of liquors and things like that. He built this company into a $1.6 billion company, which he sold off years and years ago. But it all started with this man, Gilbert Hublin. And we're in section 12 of Cedar Hill Cemetery. We're literally right in the middle. And if you can't find it, if you can't find a simple marker, then maybe you should look for his memorial. How's that? Isn't that awesome? I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. I am so happy to find these really, really great final resting places for you. Please come to my website, The Original Tombstone Tourist, or The Tombstone Tourist. I'm also on uh, uh, YouTube, obviously, from this video. And, uh, and, and Instagram and Facebook and all that. But my website has all the videos, all the links, all the pictures, everything you ever want to know about the Hublin Corporation and the family that ran. Have a great day. Thank you.